Hi everyone, this is Emily from Shea Design Studio. Today I'm going to show you my second try of the peacock swirl. You probably wonder why this is starting from the middle. It's all because I forgot to turn on my camera. So now I have half of the soap already in the mode and I'm just starting to record me putting all the color into the bottle and ready to swirl. In my first try, the soap better gets so thick, I was not able to do any kind of swirl. So this time around, the soap better is a little better, but still not as liquid as I want it to be. In this batch, I'm using four colors. One is dark brown using cocoa powder. Uh, second one is yellow, you can see in the bottle and the third one is maroon red on the very right hand side and then the fourth one is kind of tangerine orange and of course the base color is white which is uncolored i'm using a new fragrance oil i just bought from the scent works um, it's called precious red resin it smells like dragon's blood but I think this one is stronger and more exotic. It has uh, more sandalwood inside and something else. I can't pinpoint what it is. When I just received the bottle and opened it up, I really like how it smells like much better than uh, the original Dragon's Blood. And when I soaked it, um, I don't think it morphs or anything and it's still pretty strong and smells pretty much the same as out of the bottle however i have no idea whether or not uh, this fragrance oil will discolor my soap if it does that probably means that the white part of the soap will become maybe creamy or even beige or tan Hopefully it won't because otherwise I would lose all that contrast. Before I can start swirling, I need to use the bottle and um, squeeze all the soap into the mold from left to right in line wise zigzag or zigzagging, whichever you call it. And you can see I'm already doing it. And you just keep on going until all the bottles are empty. This is my second try already. Um, I learned a little something for my first try. I realized that at the end, there are going to be soap wasted in the bottle and won't come out anymore as the soap gets thicker and thicker. Therefore, this time around, I made slightly more soap better just so the finished soap won't be thinner than usual. I'm going to fast forward to almost the end because this is very time consuming. All I'm doing is squeezing the bottle. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to use two tools to swirl in this badge. One is just a simple uh, skewer stick and the other one I made it out of styrofoam and a few skewer sticks and I make a rake out of it kind of alternating two rows. I'll show you uh, a little later. At the end of the squeezing of the bottles, I have to take the soap and uh, slam it against my countertop a few times, just trying to get the surface flat again. This is the tool I was telling you about. It's styrofoam and chopped up uh, skewer sticks. So before I can use that tool, I have to take another skewer stick and started drawing the line 90 degrees uh, to the soap that I just pour. So if I uh, squeeze the bottle left and right across the mold lengthwise, now I'm drawing the lines up and down across the mold um, in a short direction. It looks like I was drawing arrows um, up and down across the whole mold.
now I'm ready to use uh, the tool I made. It doesn't matter which uh, side I start, I just have to start from one side. And I'm just going to draw zigzag patterns all the way down from one side to the other side. Apparently the soap better at this point uh, got even thicker. It's really hard to move um, the tools all the way across. You can tell like I am sort of carrying the soap better from one side to the other side of the mode and it's really hard to move. And as the result, I don't think I'm getting any peacock swirled. But it's some kind of swirl, it's just not peacock. Now let me show you a zoom in of the top. I think the pattern is already happening. But because the soap batter was so thick and the sticks that I made are too close to each other, um, the pattern is not obvious. Okay, I think I'm going to have to have a third try. I'll see you next time when I cut the soap.